The volcano emergency on Hawaii's Big Island is far from over. The Kilauea volcano has been erupting since Thursday, sending lava into neighborhoods and toxic gas into the air. At least nine homes have been destroyed. More cracks opened in the ground this weekend, and there are now at least nine active fissures releasing lava. The island has also had more than 200 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. That follows Friday's magnitude 6.9 earthquake, the most powerful quake to hit Hawaii in more than 40 years. Carter Evans is there. The volcanic trail cuts right through the community of Leilani Estates, sitting atop the eastern slope of Kilauea. For four days, the volcano has been spewing molten lava and ash. Large cracks or fissures spontaneously erupted in a line through the neighborhood, setting several homes on fire. We watched as smoke engulfed this house. It's like a roaring, it's, it's like a Goliath, or like, or like a roaring jet engine. Sam Knox lives about 100 yards away from one of the eruptions. Did they ask you to evacuate? They, that took, it was a mandatory evacuation, but by law, I don't have to leave. And why did you choose to stay? Because this is where I live, right here. I had faith, faith in, the, in the gods that my house is going to be okay. Two more cracks broke open, bringing the total to nine, with fountains of lava exploding into the night sky just feet from homes on residential streets. Just a few hours ago, this street was wide open, and now you could see it's covered in about six feet of lava. It cools pretty quickly. You could almost walk on it now, but if you look inside, you can see where it's still glowing red. The lava spread quickly through lava tubes, scientists describe as long tunnels underground. It erupts almost as if a hose has been sliced lengthwise. The prognosis is for this to continue. We see no slowdown in activity. Our seismic and geodetic data coming from the region still indicate magma accumulating below the general area. That means new eruptive fissures could open up, unleashing more lava and toxic gases into the community. These eruptions have made streets impassable all over this community. You can see where it's blocked the road here, and this isn't the only one. It's one of the reasons they've shut this area down. The concern is that people might get trapped inside, and first responders won't be able to reach them. Elaine? Carter, thank you.